It's the sure sign of a good time. The just right taste of Bud Light. Here we go. This is the Coach's Scouting Report, featuring Coach Rick Venturi on 101sports.com. Welcome back to another scouting report on 101sports.com along with the coach, Rick Venturi. I'm Zach McCride. I'm sporting the, the, the hat that Coach Venturi got me from Tampa when him and John Gruden do the whole, the whole, uh, the whole bits, the quarterback schools. They're part of the, I'm now part of the FFCA, baby. Fired Florida Coaches Association. The, the, there you go. You're the, in it. I'm in it, baby. You're uh, an honorary, Let's buddy. talk about the game this weekend, Coach. Uh, actually, it's Monday Nighter between the, uh, the Rams and the Seattle Seahawks. Let's start with special teams. Yeah. The, the, the NFC West, man, they're full of special teams. We're back in it, and, and we learned a lesson in the first game. you got to stop Leon Washington. I thought Leon Washington was a critical reason that the Seahawks won the first ball game. He returned those two kicks, one late in the first quarter, one in the second quarter. He turned the field over. He gave field position for the Seahawks, which they kept most of the day. So controlling Washington certainly don't give him a big play. Special teams has got to be a big factor in this game. Number one, not losing it. I'd like to see him maybe come up with a creative type return. I want Nick Miller to do it all. I've, I've seen enough of everybody else. I'd like to have him in the game all the time. Let's try to stop Marshawn Lynch, too. How do we do that? Well, number one on defense, you got to stop Lynch. And he is, you know, I've said it before, he is a beast. He's a tremendous runner. He likes those inside zone plays, what we call searches, wraps, not a lot of misdirection but the line gets hat on hats and gets going. Now, the one thing I would be alert for this ball game, just like last week against San Francisco, look for them to change it up a little bit this week. Look for them to get him on the perimeter, to maybe use Washington and Justin Forsett, the change-ups, to get on the edge. What hurt the Rams last week? The edge running. Right. Look also for a back like Golden Tate to do some, some of the plays, some of the special end of rounds that hurt the Rams okay, last week. Okay, let's, let's stop the passing game. What do we well, look for in the passing I game? I think basically, you, you know, Rice is gone, so you've lost the number one guy on the pass offense. Golden Tate is the emerging receiver right now. He's starting to play like the guy they hoped he was. But Abinamu, the big, the big guy who can run, is pretty much the guy that I'm going to worry about. He's the guy I think they'll move around. They'll try to get him matched up, and he's the guy on the deep part of the field. The big thing with the Seahawks is early in the game there, stop the run totally and nothing over the top. Right. Don't let anybody over the top. Now we, now we work on winning the game. Uh, now, well, let's get to Tavares. I think that's a good yeah. way. This defense can get to the quarterback. They, they really can. You know, now the Seahawks are a little bit like the Rams. They've lost Russell Okung their left tackle, which essentially they've lost three-fifths of their offensive right. line in the last month. So they're very vulnerable. I think the Okung loss really hurts them because he was their left tackle, their pass protector. I look for a breakout game as long as the Seahawks can't run it and stay out of harm's way. You get them in long yardage situation, I look for long just to continue the excellence. You know, he's on a breakout career year. I look for uh, James Hall to mismatch their guards. Any place you want to put him in there, and this is a week I'd love to see Quinn break out. McQuiston is going to go from backup, from a right guard who was a backup to start the season, to his first game at left tackle. Wow. He's wow. going to be at left tackle. So what you want to do is you want to have some defenses to just turn it loose. I believe this. The key to winning this game will be on the defense's hands, okay? Under, the way the Rams are right now, and it's going to be making Travaris Jackson have the implosion game, the bad game. All right, let's try to score some points, though. Let's go offensively. How do we run the ball? Well, this is a very good front. We learned that last, last game. You know, they're anchored by Red Bryant, who's what I call the power end, and then you have Chris Clements' speed end. I always want to get the tight end to move or to get a second tight end to get on Clements. If I'm going to run inside, I'm going to run at Clements. He's the speed guy. If I'm going to run outside, I'm going to run at Bryant on the perimeter. I'm going to try to get it to the edge. I think the Rams must develop perimeter runs with Jackson. I don't think you can hammer them all day inside. They're not quite as strong as San Francisco, but they're good. I also want quick screens to be a part of that. I want to get Pettis been involved. For a while. You got to. Well, they threw one to Pettis last week, gained 15. That was the only one they ran. <laughs> so I think you have to get some issues where you get the ball outside, make their corners tackles, get their safeties blocked, but make their corners tackle from that standpoint. Even more than usual, 
with the quarterback situation that the Rams had, it's really important to be good on early downs. This has to be a crusade. For the Rams, first down is like the Super Bowl. They've got to make four or more. That's why quick screen, Zach. Now, they play a lot of zone defense, so they're going to give you room underneath. I want to work on three guys on their defense. I want to work on Sherman, their left corner. I think Browner's playing very well on the right side. I want to work on Sherman, both over the top and underneath. They play zone. Their linebackers feel like crazy. They blitz at times. There's big open air on first down play pass. Why do I want to go play pass on first down? One, you pretty much get standard defense, less blitzing. So all these things are equalizers to the Rams offensive line and to the quarterbacks. So you got to make a living on first down. You got to be productive and it can't all be running. You got to be able to mix the run and the pass. Any other guys to attack? You mentioned Shermer. Well, I, I think Shermer, I, 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 Sherman, the left, the left corner. I'd also like to get Chancellor maybe involved on Pettis or something or even Kendricks. Uh, he's a tremendous, Chancellor's a tremendous run player, but he struggles in space. So I want to get him matched up. And then if I do want to get out in space on a linebacker, I want to go on right. I think right is, is not as good as Hill in space. So I really want to work on those three guys. And I think you can pretty much, by formation, fix him on your right offensive side. So there's a chance. I mean, there's a, there are a decent chance that the Rams are going to be down in this game. How do we, how do we well, adjust if we're down in this game? No, good point. You're always going to sometime fall behind an account. So number one thing I don't want you to do is when you're behind an account, lose it. You only have three choices. You have a challenged offensive line and a challenged quarterback. So there's only three things you're going to do, okay? You're going to move that quarterback. You're going to get him out of harm's way, get him to throw quick. You're going to screen the ball, or you're occasionally actually going to run the ball. What you don't want to do is go back into classic drawback and allow Seattle's defense to win the game for you. A lot of underneath throwing. I no want, doubt that's about what it. you want. Catch and With run. Everything's got to be too. quick. Everything's got to be quick. <gasps> and also, you're going to get a bunch of blitzing there. Much less you're going to get that four-man rush. When we went spread last week, last time, the empty set, that was the worst thing we could have possibly done because we created long yardage situation. You don't even want them thinking about putting Raheem Brock in on one side, Clements on the other side, Brian in there with me, Bain. You, you're, you're mismatched at every spot there. This guy makes me believe that the Rams are going to win every week, or at least have a, have a chance to. We'll find out on Monday Night Football, and then we'll react about it Tuesday morning on Zach and the Coach, 9 to 11 Central Time on 101 ESPN. For the 27-year NFL coaching veteran Rick Venturi, I'm Zach McCray. That's been the Scouting Report on 101sports.com.